Alright, I'm working in X15, and sometimes we want to create windows that look something like this. There's a center window that's um, right under the ridge, and a couple windows on either side. And there's uh, various ways of doing these, but uh, I'm going to try to show something that, that may or may not be simple. And so if you open this, it's a mold window. And I'm using a Tudor arch with a zero radius. So I'm going to unmold that. Now what I've started with is three identical windows. They're just fixed windows. They're the same width, but they don't have to be. And I've positioned them in the center. That's important. And I've positioned the bottom where I want the bottom to be and the top of this this center window because this, this center window is where the where the point's gonna start. And so like I said, it's just a fixed glass. I chose 30 inches for the width, that's that's not important. 48 inches for the height, again, that's that's not important. And I've positioned it vertically where I want it to go and I'm going to take these three I'm going to mold them together and open it Tudor arch it'll come in with some kind of, of radius and you can see what the what it looks like but you can give this any kind of radius you want, but I'm going to give it a zero radius. And when you do that, it looks like that. And then I'm going to change this height, and I'm going to make this 42, and I'll show you why. That number is not, that exact number is not important, but I'll show you why I've done that and say okay. And so what I, what I wanted to do is get the slope of, of this window different than the slope over here and I wanted it to be visibly different so I could I could just see what's going on easier and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck exterior casing and that's just temporary and the reason I'm doing that is because chief doesn't generate the casing very well and um, Let's see, I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to do a CAD detail from view. And if you look down here, you can see that there's some extra lines right here. Like that line there, you can see how it's it's sloped. It goes up here. It's it's. Just, I don't think that line's supposed to be there, but that's that's the, what Chief generates if you've got a casing. So I'm going to I'm going to delete this. I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to remove the exterior casing. And then I'm going to do a CAD detail from view. And so now you can see that that, that extra line is not there. And that just gives us some easy stuff to, to snap to. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to use a point to point. And I'm going to, I'm going to pick up that point right there. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to snap to that intersection right up there. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to draw a line first. I'm going to pick up that right there. You can see I didn't do a very good job. Let's try that again. I'm going to pick up that line. And then let's extend it up and it'll snap real easy right there. If you use a if you try using a point to point you can easily get it to snap very easily down there but when you come up here it doesn't always want to snap to this to this point up here right of course right now it's doing it perfectly but one way you can do that is you can draw a line first and then you can either get the length of this line or you can come down here and the thing about point to point is it'll you got to be careful because it'll 
it'll just put markers out there for you if it doesn't find a point to snap to. So like this right here, you can see that it snapped to a, it, it, that's just a, a point marker. There's not a real point right there, I don't think. So if you, if you draw a line first, the line snaps. You know, I can just, I can just find a, find a point on that line and come up here and it'll, you can always pick up a snap there. I don't know why the dimension doesn't. And then you can open this line and you can get this dimension right here at length, or you can just draw a dimension carefully over that, the top of that line. And so I'm going to select this line. Let's use, since they're both the same, let's use this line over here. I'm going to open these. And primary format, I'm going to change this to inches, and I'm going to change it to decimal places. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a calculator handy here. So I'm going to do 30.2572. And I'm going to subtract 20. Point nine two three nine. We get nine point three 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 three. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna open this window, go to arch, and then I'm gonna subtract nine point three three three. You can see the window changed over here. And you can see that changed. And now what that did was that just made this this edge of this window parallel to the roof. And then we can open this up and put the casing back. It probably seems like a lot of steps, but if you've ever tried to go through lining all these things up it's kind of a pain one thing you can do that makes it a lot easier is it you can if you're if you're not mulling these together if you're just using individual individual windows you can use this you can use the you know you you'd have to you'd have to create this first window and you can put a You can draw a line, and this this line, I'm going to open it, and I'm going to change the angle. I'm going to 8 and 12. And then I can, I, know, I already knew this, the roof pitch was 8 and 12. And so this line is now parallel with the roof. And if these were individual windows, then I could, I could measure from the window up and figure this point right here and do some other gyrations. But I think this mulling is, is a pretty easy way to do this. And everything looks pretty clean. Now, again, you can see that oddball. I've reported this stuff to Chief, but it doesn't seem like it's too high on their priority list. You can see that line that's that's in there for some reason. It's the same over here. You can see that that oddball line that's that's drawn in there. Anyway, Tudor Arch, zero radius. You can use that for this center window, too. If you're just doing a, one, a single window, you can use the same thing for that.